Hi, I'm Mike Morris. Welcome to episode four of Good Things Kitchener, a series dedicated to all the good that's been spreading up across our community in difficult times. Today, we're talking about two local Indigenous-led initiatives. First, pop-up COVID vaccination clinics for First Nation, Métis, and Inuit residents. Two locations have been set up for Indigenous people to receive a COVID vaccine in a safe, welcoming, and comfortable space, including the presence of elders, traditional medicine, cedar tea, and the option to smudge. It's an effort to help overcome vaccine hesitancy despite a long history of intergenerational trauma inflicted on Indigenous peoples. It's been made possible thanks to the leadership of many Indigenous-led organizations, including Anishinaabeg Outreach, the Healing of the Seven Generations, and the KW Urban Native Wigwam Project. One location is the region of Waterloo's administrative headquarters and runs on Thursdays and Fridays through to mid-May. The other is at uh, Anishinaabeg Outreach at 237 Woodhaven Road, also running through to mid-May on Fridays and Saturdays. If you or someone you know would like to book an appointment, there's a number of options, either through one of the three organizations I mentioned earlier or through the region's help center and website. All that information is available at this site. Next up is an Indigenous-led and city-supported initiative focused on placemaking at parks and open spaces. The goal is to create spaces that feel welcoming to Indigenous groups and community members looking to host ceremonies, events, and gatherings. It's happening under the direction of Elena Jewell, a local Indigenous artist and staff member at the City of Kitchener. And the first project site is Huron Natural Area, which holds his historical significance as a settlement of ancestors of the neutral nation. If you've been there recently, you've likely noticed three stunning commission murals by Luke Swinson, August Swinson, and Sista Kennedy, which are part of a vision to blend the history and natural setting with art and culture. There's future plans in the works for permanent spaces in Victoria Park and Waterloo Park. And if you'd like to find out more, you can visit this site or contact Alana directly. While small steps, given the long legacy of harm wrought on Indigenous peoples, both these initiatives are wonderful examples of embracing local Indigenous leadership, moving us in the right direction and offering hope for more of what's possible. If you've got ideas for future good things you'd like me to spotlight, please let me know in the comments. Hope to see you again for the next one.